So in the next three sections of Lesson 75, we're going to cover the subject of draw spin. We found out earlier that the phase spin thrives off a straight phase club. Well, the reverse is true. Draw spin is easy to affect when you have loft. I'm always reminded of the shot that Bubba Watson hit in the playoff uh, for the Augusta Masters. Uh, he was down the right-hand side in the trees and he had the ability to snap like a sand iron out and up the hill. A right-handed golfer could not have affected that much bend over such a small amount of time. And he hit a wonderful shot that moved and it was with a very lofted club. So I've got a similar situation here. I've got trees in my way. I'm just going to go around the circle. I'm going to aim out to the right and just find out where the eight iron finishes. Okay, so obviously I had to aim out and I've missed the green. I only hit the ball about 122 yards then. Now, to shape the shot, to move the ball, I'm going to go around the circle. So first of all, I'm going to aim down the white line towards the flag. I'm going to go around the circle. And it's going to start the ball towards the bunker I just went close to. But I can be as creative as I want with my hands. I can turn the ball over from right to left. So I was pretty pleased with that, got the shape, could have possibly taken a little bit more club. But I think you can see that off the first swing that was very neutral, the ball flew high and softly. You can see how much more creative the next shot was. So I think this is the right club for the job, I've just got to do a slightly better strike. Round the circle I go, club face goes with me, and now I can release the draw spin as freely as I dare. So I caught that a little bit more strongly, worked the ball up, and now you see I've gone from 120 yards up the hill to over 140. So it would have been difficult for me going for the low shot. If I'd been using a four or five iron, yes, I'd have kept it low, but could I have shaped it that much? Probably not. What's interesting is if I aim at the flags for you, that's eight iron loft. I go around the corner, that becomes seven iron loft. Around the corner again, I'm in effect de the club, making it stronger. Okay, but I've still got the advantage of sufficient loft to move the ball from right to left. Okay. You can see that I'm pretty comfortable with these. I spent enough time in, my trees, in the trees at Woburn. I do know how to get out of them. I wish I could stay out of them, that's the big thing. So, when you set up bog standard, there's a mild amount of draw. If you need excessive draw, you start to go around the circle, shaft goes past the ball. Once the shaft is over the ball, you can't start it left. So it's a great freedom. You can release the forearms and the hands and whip the ball over. And you can see that the shots I hit were very volatile, but actually were quite stable in where they finished. All right, the three shots to close together here, you can see how effective they were in terms of accuracy. And because I'd walked around the circle properly, it's sort of self-regulating. You know, if you start it a long way to the right, it'll come back even more. So that's again another reason for starting off properly and being very familiar with where the actual target is, where the target is there. It's only when I walk around the circle does my target change entirely. It's now the bunker right. I cannot use my right hand too freely. Okay, and there's the ball shaping. Just caught the bunker on that one. My right hand is a little bit lazy. So there we have it. Set yourself up as normal. Go around the circle. The shaft will go over the ball. Load and turn the ball over with as much creativity in the hands that you can, that you can muster.